Hey, and uh, welcome again today to kind of a Duke Long Commercial Real Estate with the Latitude podcast slash demo. And today we're talking with Wes Snow. Wes is the CEO and founder of Ascendix. How are you doing today, Wes? I'm well. Thanks, Duke. Appreciate you having me. Hey, we uh, we talk all the time and you help me so much, especially with some of the CRM stuff. And you always uh, kind of keep me updated on some of the things that you're doing, which is very helpful. And as we had talked, you mentioned that you were bringing out a new product and it was kind of a, a, a special little niche. Can you kind of tell me about that? Yeah, you bet. Bet. So as you know, uh, we've got our product out there uh, in the market, Ascendix RE, which is kind of an overarching platform built on the Salesforce platform for you know, brokerages, uh, whether they be tenant rep, landlord rep, investment sales and such, covering office, industrial, retail, multifamily. And uh, had a couple of brokers come to us uh, and they were from the land brokerage arena, discipline and focus on nothing but land deals and said, Wes, uh, I see that you've got some land elements in your overarching product, but it would be interesting if you could potentially create a configuration or a product for us that was focused exclusively on how we work um, and kind of stripping out some of those things that are just ancillary and just not valuable to us and provide that solution and that the marketplace really doesn't have anything for us. We're, we're using residential based tools or we're, we're using Excel spreadsheets or Outlook address book collections and so forth, uh, or we're, we're being forced to use generic CRM tools uh, or moreover, those that were tailored for more of your comer your classic commercial use cases like the office lease transaction flow and things of that nature. And we started looking at it and Duke, it was really uh, interesting in that based on the plumbing that we had done for land based property, it was really not that challenging for us to strip this down and put something that was specifically focused on the land broker. And then in that journey, we started getting a bit more aware of the ecosystem of other players and tools that these people were using. Um, and and uh, we've actually started, which we'll talk about later in the conversation, um, some integrations with some of those tools. So uh, we've been live now for uh, about two weeks and I'm overwhelmed with the feedback and the response to the outreach programs that we have. As a matter of fact, I was late to this very meeting with you because I was on back-to-back -back sales calls just trying to satisfy the demand that's been created here. So uh, lots of excitement about it in the land brokerage community, uh, lots of learnings uh, happening, happening rapid fire. Um, and one of the you know, first person I thought of was reaching out to my, my buddy Duke and saying, hey, let's, uh, let's see if we can't use your platform to uh, emanate this message. So here we are. Okay. Well, it kind of, you know, we've got the screen up and everything. Kind of show me, show me the, you know, the spe the specifics of this. Yeah. So, for those who've ever seen the Ascendix RE demonstration, um, there would traditionally be things like leases and listings. And what we found is that, um, notice the the nice little logo here. We've really done all the nice touches here, and even the background being green to give this forestry agricultural feel to the application. Small little touches like that. Um, but in, in addition to those aesthetics, we went in and did a lot of interviewing with these brokers. And, and as you can appreciate, you know, there's a lot of these deals that are being done um, by uh, and with contacts and no, not so much the company level. And so we had to organize the application so that we supported contact to contact business development and, and buy cycles and so forth. And so we plumbed the system there. But of course, we also accommodated the application for property and deal flow around land properties. And so here you'll see a property for 8001 Village Bend Road. Um, and we've got all the elements that you would imagine for uh, a land property, uh, but we folded in the listing attributes that were in the past kind of separate and had those all be in this one area. So you've got listing dates, expiration, price per acre. We've had conversations with people about adding uh, fields like tillable soil acreage and things of this nature. Um, and uh, with the flexibility, flexibility of the Salesforce platform, we're able to expand and contract based on specific uh, prospect and client needs. You know, land use, land acreage and things of this nature. Um, and of course, uh, being able to store the images associated with those properties uh, and an integration that we'll talk about here in, in, the, in the future here is this map right integration, which is part of the tools that we're integrating with. So uh, all of this is in an effort to provide someone uh, an alternative to the Excel spreadsheets that they're using 
or some of these other applications that they've had to kind of uh, through hook and crook make work for them. Um, you'll see that associated with the property are uh, inquiries and that most of these are buy sell transactions and people who are listing these properties, uh, they want to track the indications of interest, the sign calls or the the uh, web submissions off of the digital assets, i.e. their listings, um, and be able to report back to the uh, the owner you know, what they're doing on their behalf. And of course, as those inquiries start to mature, uh, then there will be deal flow that will create. And so we've stripped this down to just those types of deals that would be relevant for a land brokerage. And here we see a couple of seller rep deals associated with the 8001 Village Bend Road. Of course, uh, at the core of this is your really robust uh, contact management and account management. And so we're not we're not saying that that's not important. It's just um, it's just a part of the story. And moreover, we're not dependent on there being accounts always present, but perhaps having these contact only relationships. And so here we see the fundamentals of CRM with contacts associated with companies that we might be doing business with. And those might be in some way, shape or form a relationship with a property or deal, you know, the owner, um, perhaps they are the prospective buyer or seller, uh, things of that nature uh, in the system. Um, because it's built on Salesforce, as you've seen in the past, we're bringing to the land broker the power of the integration with things like uh, Outlook. And so looking at the Outlook uh, experience, we're now able to take uh, land brokers email boxes and turn them into intelligence data stores where we're highlighting emails and being able to look at the contextual uh, history of those relationships uh, by virtue of having the Ascendix RE land contact records surface up in their Outlook. And this integrates not only with Outlook, but with Gmail as well. And of course, all the while, the mobile uh, solutions, that's something that we've heard loud and clearly that uh, the, the, these brokers do not have is a really rock solid mobile offering. And, and because Ascendix RE was the foundation for this build, we carried over and this Ascendix RE land inherited uh, the mobile solutions that allow for the access of this on tools like iPhone and Android and tablet devices, which are important in land brokerage when you're out in the middle of nowhere and need to have access to this information. Don't necessarily, it's not practical to have a laptop lift out. So um, those are some of the fundamentals there, um, Duke, with regards to the Syndix RE land solution today. When you mentioned uh, and you showed you showed the map it thing, which obviously you know is a, a, a part and a piece of that. Can are there other integrations that you're doing or other things that they're asking for? Yeah. So you know we're we're just in the beginning stages of the journey here, but we uncovered very quickly with some of these uh, uh, interviews and in, in kind of beta testers that there were two pieces that were terribly important in that when land brokers go out there to position the land, yes, then like commercial, you have aerial views and so forth, but they wanna dress up those, those particular aerial photos um, and allow for um, data layers, if you will, to start showing up. And so in this scenario, if we were to look at say 8001 Village Bend Road, we've integrated the solution with a product called MapRite, which is arguably one of the, if not the leader in the mapping space for land uh, land brokerage here. And so uh, we've got this uh, map right service that's now being surfaced in the Ascendix RE land so that we don't have to bounce around back and forth between multiple applications to get to this asset. So here the broker has gone forth and using the map right tool, which, can, which we can see on this tab, they've gone in and created a new map and uh, used uh, all the mapping tools to draw boundaries and points of interest on that particular map and through the integration allowed that to be now accessible through the Ascendix RE land product. What's neat about the mapping service and something that we would never want to take on or things like data layers, like contour lines, being able to be put into these mapping and county lines and uh, other data elements that would be interesting for someone who's possibly going to acquire a piece of property. Uh, and so that's one important integration. And this is just the beginning of that journey. There are other roadmap items for this integration that we're already discussing and implementing. Uh, another one surprisingly was, well, I guess not so surprising, was uh, the need to integrate with um, uh, email service providers like MailChimp. And so we've actually baked that in as well and made it super easy for the land broker such that if somebody were going out there and profiling a particular investor uh, and wanted to add those to their database, all they'd need to do is to simply go in and do something as simple as flag them as an investor and with the integration with MailChimp, allow for that record then to, through synchronization, be filtered through to the MailChimp listing component here. And next time 
the mailing for that particular uh, group of land broker or land investors comes up, then we don't have to worry about the data from Serum being inside of the, uh, the email service provider. It automatically happens on behalf of the broker. And the most important piece of that is that it minimizes the amount of energy and thought that the broker has to put into that. They simply just select the relationship type and the intelligence in this integration takes care of the rest, making sure that everybody that they want to get marketed to is getting marketed to. So MapRite and MailChimp are, are two primary. Um, there are some other tools that we're starting to discover that are important. And so this is a full on commitment to this industry. This isn't a passing fancy or just a, hey, we'll, do, we'll put this product out there. If you were to go to Ascendix.com, you'd find out very quickly that that's now prominently displayed on our website as an offering. And so uh, we've, we've locked arms with products like MapRite to co-market, and we're actually looking at um, doing some things for with RLI, RLI Realtors Land Institute. Um, and those are things that uh, uh, down the road uh, are going to be um, important for us to become part of the the community, if you will, of land brokers. And so we're investing in those fronts as well. Well, you know what I like, I, you know, one of my great mentors was a land guy and I call him a legend he was a legend and everyone has their different systems. To me, this seems robust, but it seems kind of simplistic. And I say that in the nicest way. It's not yep. overly complicated. The MailChimp thing I love, MailChimp to me is way underrated as a tool for everybody. I, everybody, I use it for a lot. So I think that's really cool. So. I don't know. I, I just like the simplicity of it and, and the mapping part and some of those things. I'm sure you'll make it more robust down the road. So if somebody is listening and they want to get a hold of this, how do they get a hold of it? Wes? Yeah. So much like the uh, Syndex RE solution, we have ready-made trials here that are designed and, and reflect exactly what you've seen here. So that if somebody were to call me today and we do a demonstration and they showed interest, they could have a trial of a Syndex RE land. Uh, in their hands before the day is out. And moreover, during those trial processes, it's important to note that it's not just a, hey, here's a tool, go go have fun with it and good luck with it, but rather an immersive and investing uh, type of an experience where we bring um, client adoption specialists alongside those brokers to teach them how to use the tool, answer questions, but equally important, start walking through the process of what kind of data do you have and where is it stored? And let's see if we can't formulate a strategy to import that into the system so that this trial is ex ex exceptionally valuable experience for you where you can, with great confidence, make a buying decision on whether to move forward with this or not. And so that trial is a 30-day risk-free uh, situation um, where you know, you're not you know, spending any more uh, energy or time than the 30 days and there's no money involved uh, in this. Um, and at that point, you've got a, a great opportunity to to try before you buy. Well, Wes, you guys, every time I get more and more knowledge about the CRM stuff, again, totally underrated products for everybody. I really appreciate you showing this to me today. Yeah, and there are there are other pieces and parts there, but wanted to keep this short and sweet, just kind of a, almost a general announcement of uh, kind of a splash of what we're doing. And uh, we may have some follow-ups that we could do down the road, but I appreciate you having me and uh, look forward to our next one. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.